Hello everyone, my name is Martin Medeiros and I'll be your instructor for Econ 1 Microeconomics. And I wanted to take this time to explain to you how things are going to be working on a week to week basis. I want to make sure that you're completely aware of the structure we're going to be using and so there will be no surprises. So it's very important for you to uh, know what's going to be expected of you. So let's start with the weekly assignments. So right now I'm at the course syllabus and this course syllabus can be downloaded from the class site on Canvas. I'm going to show you that in a bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to page. This is page. Um, sorry, go up a little bit. Page three right here. This is the course schedule. Let me just go up a little bit course schedule. And you could see I have things worked out week by week. And over here in the last column, you have the due dates for all of the assignments for each week based upon the readings that you see right here. And one thing you should know, all of these dates fall on a Sunday with one exception. That's the very last week. And that's why I have a little asterisks right here. That's uh, the final exam has to be taken within a range of days. And that range is right here. And the 20th does not fall on a Sunday. But all of these fall on a Sunday. So what you need to do is just assume that there is something due every week on Sunday. Now, we do have a couple of holidays. We've got Labor Day, Veterans Day, and Thanksgiving Day holiday. And I don't have anything due on these weeks. Um, the other exception is for week one, you can see our first class starts on, let me show you, let me just bring this over here a little bit. Well, I'm just trying to move this over. Okay, I'm going to move this over so you can see my calendar. So you can see that we, the class starts on the 20th, Tuesday. And you would think that the first due date is going to be on the 25th because that's the first following Sunday. But what I did was for the first week, I have the first due date on September 1st. The reason why is because sometimes there are late ads to the class and they may not have time to be able to meet a Sunday deadline on August 25th. So the first due date is going to be September 1st. But after that, things pretty much uh, work every, su every Sunday is a due date. So that's going to be pretty clear. So what I want to do is now toggle over to the um, class site canvas and let's look at a typical week. So here we have the class site and let's look at week one. So you can see what I, the thing I have, the way I have things organized is I've got an overview and if you click on this, it tells you the course objectives for and the topic that we're going to be covering. Then I tell you what you need to read. Um, you need to read chapter one. And what I've done here is I provided um, lecture notes. These are the lecture slides and a video lecture on that particular chapter. So read it, watch my lecture, and you could follow along with my lecture uh, slides right here. Once you've done that, now you're ready to complete the assignments. And the assignments really come of one of three categories. One is called video questions. Another one is a 10 question quiz on the readings. And the third one that you don't see this week is a discussion thread. I'll, I'll cover that in a bit. Now these video questions, you click on this link right here. Um, if I take the quiz, you see that there's going to be a video that you have to watch and you have to answer one question on this video. Uh, now the, que the, the questions are not designed to be tricky. They're just to uh, ensure that you watch this video intently. New page, hold on. And then that is going to be due on a Sunday, as well as the other video questions, as you can see right here. And then there's a 10 question quiz based upon the readings and these videos. Now, the, these, this quiz is not timed. You could start and stop it, and you could uh, change your answers as long as you uh, finish before September 1st or the due date. And what it does is that the quiz, the system will take the last saved quiz. So if you take a quiz 
you change your answers, the last saved quiz is the one that the system will accept. And it's not timed. So um, hopefully that won't be too stressful for you. And that's how things are going to progress on a week by week basis. You could see here in week two, we do have a discussion thread assignment. And again, you have to respond by the due date. In this case, it's September 8th. And your response has to be thorough uh, and complete. So in other words, no, don't respond with a one sentence reply to the topic. Try to demonstrate that you've uh, read the topic. You are using some of the concepts we've covered in class and you've shown some thought in your response. That's how you respond to these discussion threads. And that's pretty much think how things work on a week to week basis. Now, if you scroll to the top, you could see here, you could act, be, access the syllabus right here under the course home. Contact information. Uh, this, this information is also listed in the syllabus, but I show you the, the email address that I'm using. And I, I, t I try to tell you how to craft your email to me. In other words, what to include in the subject line. That's important because I am also teaching Econ 2 and I'm also teaching courses at another university. So it's very important in, in the subject line, you tell me the school and the uh, course in the subject line. And that really helps me respond to you on a timely basis. I'm also going to have weekly office hours online and I'm using Zoom. Zoom is kind of like Skype. And this is the link to go to those weekly office hours. It's on Wednesday nights at seven from seven to eight. And if you've never used Zoom before, I have this link here that tells you how to basically create an account. Uh, another piece of information here is um, some of you access the Canvas site through your phone. Uh, the unfortunate thing about accessing your this site on the phone is you don't see this kind of breakdown. It's it's a little bit different on your phone, and some students get confused. Uh, what I recommend that you do is definitely try to access this through your computer, and uh, you could see how things are going to be done on a you know week by week basis, and it it's clearly it tells you what is due and what is not due. Um, so please read through the syllabus. I, I cover things like uh, late assignments. Um, basically, there are no late assignments. Um, and I want you to understand uh, your responsibilities. You've got to meet the deadlines. Uh, now, if you, if you do miss a deadline, not all, all is not lost. The very last weekly quiz, that's week, I believe, um, week 17. The very last weekly quiz right here is extra credit, and that can be used to make up for a missed assignment or two. And that's going to be worth 5% of your overall grade. So that's how you would handle um, making up for a missed assignment or a late assignment. Okay. Well, uh, as always, if you have any questions, please email me. Don't wait. Um, and if you have any technical problems, you've got to contact me to see if I can help you with that. Uh, but um, the more contact, the better. Okay. I wish you all luck and I look forward to dealing with you during the term.